Good evening and welcome to the Team Idris Lathe Vlog 3. So plenty of paintings gone on, just cleaning and scraping and poking all this horrible horrible black gum off and finding some very interesting useful parts. So there's four of these uh, M14 screw holes where you can mount what you like and the same thing here but this one's a bar that goes in held by an M8 nut. So it's quite nice that he's got these things and that it's metric. We've also got uh, two bed locks, so that's great if you want to move on to the slide, the top slide. Um, one snag is this tapered bit here, which is to adjust the sort of backlash this way and that way. Unfortunately the ends broke off so I will have to drill the end of this and make it exactly like a Bridgeport Universal so that's no problem it's already kind of part way there so I'm just going to drill it put a little plate on the end and that'll be absolutely fine. This tailstock got a, got a good uh, paint job well it's a bit crinkly but I'm back onto this bit though so the old end of the lead screw is fastened to the new one with an M8 screw. The ball joint, the, the um, ball nut has been removed and turned. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> There's three sets of recirculating balls in there and the little plastic things turn them from one track to the other. It's not so bad once you figured it out, but it takes some figuring out. The mud guard off the race truck is now the splash guard. Um, and then this nut has got to be joined to the piece above. Obviously the piece that was on there was the nut and the mount with two screws and a peg. So over here I've got the piece of metal I'm going to cut up tomorrow to start making the bracket and that will have to go and find a milling machine somewhere to make it perfectly 90 degrees. But yeah, keep poking and scraping and cleaning and just generally trying to make it tidy. It's getting there, it's just taking a long time. Oh, and uh, my brother's provided me with a ridiculously bright LED low bay light, which is, uh, it's had a battery fault on it, and it's perfect for this uh, filming and seeing exactly what you're doing. Anyway, thanks for watching.